But first is breaking news in a Target 12 investigators exclusive. Rhode Island Attorney General's office has determined Governor Dan McKee must release a controversial email with details of a business trip that ended with a high ranking state director placed on administrative leave. Governor's office previously denied our request for that email. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now live in studio to explain what's in that decision. Patrick, the ruling by Peter Nerona's office came down a short time ago. It comes after Target 12 filed a complaint with the Attorney General's office arguing the McKee administration improperly withheld the email that the public had a right to see and Nerona's office agreed. In the decision, the Attorney General found McKee's denial violated the state's public records law, writing the public has an interest in a document that sheds light on how government operates, adding the fact that the email contains allegations of misconduct against such senior government officials increases the public interest in disclosure of the document. Now, as Target 12 first reported, David Patton, the director of the Division of Asset Management and Maintenance, took a government trip to Philadelphia, along with the then head of the Department of Administration, Jim Thorson. The March trip was to meet with a state contractor and tour a facility there. Target 12 learned multiple people witnessed what they say was inappropriate behavior by Patton. In fact, they were so upset about what happened, they sent an email detailing the allegations to the governor and the House Speaker. The McKee administration, as we said, denied our request to see that email. Patton is currently on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of a personnel investigation. Now, Nerona gave the McKee administration five days to release the email to 12 News. If they declined to do so, the AG wrote that they will take the governor's office to court seeking a judge's order to comply with their decision. We have reached out to the governor's office for comment and a short time ago they sent me an email saying that they are reviewing the AG's decision. We'll keep you posted with the latest coming up on 12 News at 4. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.